Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back. This is just going to be a very quick tutorial on how you change an IP vanish server in DDWRT. You may want to do this if you just want to change country, there's maybe a problem with the server, for whatever reason this is going to cover it all. There's one thing you'll please note that if you're following this from another provider, there isn't many providers you can just do this with. I think uh, private internet access is about the only one. All the others use certificates um, for each individual server as far as I'm aware. So just be aware of that if you're watching it for a different provider you may need to look at the tutorials or uh, contact me and we'll do a video for you to how to change it on different uh, providers but uh, we've already got one for NordVPN if uh, obviously if, you, if you're after that just have a look in the other um, videos that we've got. So without further ado I'm going to open a browser in this case I'm just going to use Edge um, it isn't something I use very often but uh, 192.168.12.1 it's the IP of the router if yours is different to that, or um, I'm presuming you'll know what what it is, so just click enter. Okay, you can just do an IP config if you need to uh, to, to find out what your IP router is. Um, just basically, we go down to uh, your start menu, find the command shell, and just do an IP config. Basically, it's a default gateway, so you just want that. Basically, if you're struggling to uh, find your IP router. Uh, it's obviously got to be DDWRT router for this tutorial to work for you. So obviously once you've got the IP of the router, just enter it in here. Any tab that you click on, normally it's going to ask you for a username and password. Um, this is obviously cached it um, because I, I do a lot obviously with routers. So once you're actually into the router, if it's asking you for a username and password, obviously enter your username and password. If you've had it from us, it would be admin and the password would be password. So uh, click on services and click on VPN. Now obviously you can see the OpenVPN client is running, it's enabled. At the moment we're on Manchester 02 server. This is here, it's blanked out because that's the username and password. Uh, what I'll do is I will go to uh, IP, there you go, uh, IP-API.com gives you all the information where the server is and the IP address you're connected to. So that's worth worthwhile having a quick look at that. So at the moment we're on 185.242.7.136. So without further ado, you're going to go to this web address, which I'll just copy and paste for here, but it'll be in the description. So the actual address is ipvanish.com forward slash software forward slash configs forward slash configs dot zip. And you'll click enter. You would download them. I've already got them. So they're on my desktop. It comes through as a zip file. Obviously you've unzipped it. Or alternatively, you can just, well, it depends if you're using WinZip. I won't complicate matters. Just unzip them so you've got your config files here. Um, now, what I would say, guys, is always use Notepad++ to open them, or else you'll just get it all the way across the screens if you use Word, WordPad, or things, things like that. So at the moment, like I say, it's connected on the Manchester 02. So I'm going to scroll down and just pick a, another number random, completely random. Uh, let's just open that. I'll drag that across to here. Now this is the line you want, line 4, uh, where it says remote, you want to copy from where the lon30.com. So it's lon-a30.ipvanish.com in this case. Obviously if you open another server you can see the address there anyway, it's uh, it's just going to change that section there. But without complicating matters, just follow that and you'll be you'll be okay. So back to the, bra uh, back to the uh, interface. And all you're simply going to do is just paste it into there. So we're going from Manchester CO2 with that IP. So we're going to paste the new details in there, which is London 30. Oop, page and click apply settings. Now in some cases, guys, I would recommend always just go to uh, administration, management, and then go down to the bottom and click reboot router. Now basically that that will ensure that it changes the IP address and everything else. On the odd occasion, if you don't do a reboot after you change the server address or after you've applied the settings, uh, it won't um, obviously won't change. So I'll just quickly just uh, fast forward this section um, because obviously it's just re the re uh, router's rebooted at the moment. Okay, we should be back up by now. So what I'll do is just refresh that. As you can see, that browser had gone stale. 
Now that's the old IP. So what we're going to do now, hopefully it should have changed. So we'll just type in here uh, IP and go to the same web address. And as you can see now it's changed 81171 uh, and it's changed location to London, which is correct. The old one was in Manchester and obviously that's the old IP. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. It was just a, a sweet and fast tutorial. Hopefully that's helped you. If it has, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.